Okay, good afternoon, uh, class. So we are going to be talking about the time on delay. Sometimes when you are trying to control electrical devices, uh, you need uh, to provide some delay on the startup process. Either, either it's an electrical motor or lighting system or any other set of electrical devices. So the timers are good on this. However, the, the fact that we are going to use a timer doesn't exclude the condition that we were talking on the previous lab. So right here, keep in mind, this section is the, the conditional area. Right here uh, is similar to a ladder diagram, electrical dial, uh, ladder diagram in which at the left side I have the power, okay, and on the right side I have the neutral if my control system works at low voltage with, with 120 volts. So just to go over, a PLC, a PLC programming logic control system include two parts, the software part and the hardware part. The software that we are going to use is PLC, uh, Click, which is from the didactic point of view is, is excellent. And this software is associated with the hardware that we are going to be using this hardware device, which is the PLC. So we are going to be using the click trainer. Okay. So and the click trainer includes a, a PLC CPU, and the PLC CPU by itself is a computer and includes its own CPU, its own memory, the input and output interfaces to get a com in communication with the external world. In addition the PLC hardware, this PLC CPU, is connected with a computer using a serial port from the PLC CPU. And on the other end, we have a USB, USB port. And in between, we have a USB interface that converts the serial information from the PLC back and forth into the USB data on the computer system. Okay, so what we are going to do is a create, as always, we need to create a condition. We are going to create a, a set of conditions that is is specified on your lab sheet. So we are going to have an unconditioned, but keep in mind, <clears throat> so I will be using the normally open contact, and the normally open contact, the first one that I will use is X002. By the way, I need to remind you that the input devices are connected and identified at the software level with X, and the output devices with Y, 00. Two is an input device. The other aspect of X, uh, X002 is that it's using uh, negative logic. So you see it open here, normally open, but in reality, it's similar to the, when we have a push button station, the red one is always closed, okay? And here, <clears throat> you see it open but at the hardware level is closed. Then we are going to have a, another normally open. It will be X001. And on the output section, I will have, I select the output right here, and I will be using C1. Click on C, I will use C1 as output, okay. And I will create a branch over here that will be controlled by C. When C, when C, my output be through the branch 
contact that I will have here connected in parallel to zero, X001 zero, zero, will be blue as well. Okay, right here, I will put that normally open. Okay. I, I need to create, sorry, I need to create the, uh, the branch. Okay, so keep in mind to create a branch, you click on the X on the arrow, on the arrow in the direction in which you want to create the branch and hit escape. And right here, we are going to go back to instruction, normally open contact, and I will use C1. And on the next run, on the next run, I will have a C1 as well, normally open, that will be controlled by this output, C1. And after C1, I will have a, a relay, a yeah, timer. Okay, so I will insert a timer here that will be T1, timer one, and the set point will be 10, 10 seconds and select the unit. Okay, so right here when you specify, when you select a timer, you have the option to have an on delay and off delay. Right now we are going to be using an on delay timer, which means that after the output of the timer is activated, so it will take some delay to activate activate the output device that is controlling it. The timer is controlling. Right here, I will select 10 seconds, okay? Time on delay. And T1 will be my output. So when, when C1, when I, I press X1, C1, C number one will be through, it will be activated. So C1 normally open will be through, which means that it will be closed. When this is closed, T1 will be activated after 10 seconds. That is the concept that timer on delay. And I can use the output of T1 to activate another device. So right here, I will insert instruction normally open it will be t1 and when t1 be activated i will have an output here out and i will select y001 and keep in mind Keep in mind, you have to close the program. At the end, we need to specify, we need to tell the software where my set of instruction end. So I need to select an end over here and insert end. Okay. So in this case, when this is closed, <coughs> When, uh, when I hit uh, press X001, C1 will be through. When it's true, this reality is one, this will be one. When this C1 is one, my timer will be, the output of my timer, my timer will become one, logic one, or active after 10 seconds, because that is the period of time that I specified. T1 will be closed, will be through, and then the green light will be lighting up. Let's test it. Before I test it, I need to write this into the PLC. Write my program into the PLC. Okay, and <clears throat> this is what I told you. Uh, the PLC is connected to the computer using a serial port. 
And in between, we have an interface that uh, translates the serial communication into a USB port. Uh, connected. So at the bottom, I will have the error messages if I have any, any error. So no error, and I will say this project with the number 95, save. And it's asking me <coughs> to stop the PLC while the software is writing. I select OK. Okay. Even though I have a switch at the hardware level, I recommend not to use it. It's better to stop it at the software level. So I click OK. Transfer completed. Now I go to the monitor, the status monitor to turn it on, and it's ready. Look the aqua color here. <clears throat> so if I press X1, look at the screen. X1 is pressed. So and I have an output. After 10 seconds, the light, the green light is lighting up. So if I want to stop this, I press X002. This is similar to how a push button station to start and stop uh, an electrical motor. Keep in mind, X002 at the software level is using negative logic, which means that when it's look here open, in reality at the hardware level is closed. So similar to the push button station in which <clears throat> red one is closed, okay, and to activate the device, in this case, electrical motor, so you press the green one to start. And in parallel with the green one, we have to have an auxiliary contact. This is talking about the hardware used to start and stop an electrical motor. In this case, this is similar. This <clears throat> latch, this, will, this contact will be latching this, okay, when this is active, this will be close or through or one. When C1 is active, this will be close or one. Then after 10 seconds, T1 will be activated or through or one. When T1 is activated, I have an output Y001. In this case, we are using a a light, a green one, but we can connect in parallel with this one at the hardware level, a contactor coil that work with 24 volts to close the contact and start the electrical motor. Close the contact and start the lighting system. No start, but lighting up the lighting system. Okay, that is what we have for time on delay. So let me stop this monitor, status monitor, okay. So PLC, okay, with T1, I will erase this and I will insert another time on delay. And I will change the, the time. So right click. Cut. Okay, so I will insert another timer. Another is a time on delay. Timer, so it will be timer two. And I will specify a hundred second. Keep in mind the unit of time. We could have milliseconds, second, minute, hours, or day. So we are going to use a hundred seconds, which is equivalent to one minute and a half. Okay, so a hundred seconds is a time on delay. Okay, and this T2 
will be activating, okay, right here. I will insert and normally open, it will be my T1 will be lighting up an output, a, a lamp or a device, so I erase this, this end because my program won't be ending here, so I insert an output here, out, click on out on the menu and select the Y001 and then I will have another output here, okay, T2, insert a normally open contact, will be, I can use, let me cancel this and type it, it will be faster, T2, normally open, okay, and then the output will be I will use the output as uh, Y002, okay, and I, I will change the time, okay. So this will be, look, I need to change the period of time on my first relay, T1, my first timer. I will specify 60 seconds, okay. And then this is a hundred second. Okay, now to delay. To device, I will start in cascade, and then I include an end here. Now I want to write this into the PLC. Writing this into the PLC hardware is what we know as compiling. A compiling means at the software level that what I have on the screen will be converted into the uh, PLC CPU machine language. Okay, and I will do this right now. Write the project into the PLC, keep in mind if there is any error will be this over here at the bottom of the screen. So now I click okay. Turn it off to be able to write the software into the PLC. Transfer complete and I go back to run my PLC hardware. Now I can test it, look. So if I close X001, C1 will be through, will be one, Okay, then after 60 seconds, T1 become true or one, logic one. This will be closed or logic one. And after 100 seconds, T2 will be logic one or true or, and then activate T2. So we have in cascade, two devices starting. Let's test it. Okay, let's test this. Okay, so I will be pressing x1 okay now we need to wait for a hundred seconds look at the screen the timers is coming the second then you will see when t2 become true or become logic one after one second a uh, hundred seconds so look at the bottom right here it's 25 seconds Okay, and after a hundred seconds, it will, T1 will become true. It's taking for a little bit longer, but it's better because you can appreciate. When this become true or logic one, the normal open, normally open contact T2 will become close or one or through, and then I will have an output here, the red light will be lighting up. Okay, 60 seconds is taking a little bit because I specify 100 seconds so you can appreciate the time on delay, the concept. 
And when you are presenting this to the student, emphasize this, the concept of time on delay, real, uh, time on, on delay timers, okay? The time on delay timer is giving some delay to start up a process, to uh, energize an electrical motor or to on a set of lighting system or any electrical device. Look, higher than 100 seconds, light up, the red one. It's Y001 became through after 60 seconds and Y002 became true after 160 seconds, okay? Almost two minutes and a half. So if I want to stop this, all I need to do is look at on the upper left corner, X2. If uh, this is, if I press X2, everything is de-energized and get back to the beginning. Okay, that is what I have for today, guys. Uh, as an introduction to time on delay. Don't forget, time on delay uh, timers provide, they provide some delay on the startup process. It either is an electrical motor or a lighting system, okay? And in this case, we have two in cascade in a chain to illustrate this concept, which is the most important part. <clears throat>